Hey guys, it's Brandon Schaefer here, and today I wanted to talk about Proposition 37 that is, well, hopefully will be passed in California soon enough. But, uh, there's just some, I've been looking into it and hearing things about it through Facebook and friends on there and things like that. And, uh, here's some things I find interesting about it. Now, it's kind of divided between, uh, companies that support it and companies that don't support it. Well, first of all, let me say, if you don't know what Proposition 37 is, it is some legislation uh, to on ingredients labels that will have to have genetically modified ingredients labeled as genetically modified. As of right now in America, we're one of the only countries in the world, all of Europe genetically modified organisms are banned or it has to be labeled that they're genetically modified so that people know because these things are you know not natural it's not good for you um, I mean it's, it's so obvious I mean I mean are you gonna want to eat corn that's naturally grown without any chemicals or one that was genetically engineered in a lab gee I don't know it makes sense to me which one I would eat um, anyway, we're one of the only countries that you don't have to have it labeled. In Europe you have to, in countries in Asia you have to, all over the world you have to have it labeled. Except for in this country, which we're trying to change right now. And of course the big, the big pushers against this is Monsanto. They have donated four million dollars against the labeling of genetically engineered food. And gee, I wonder why that is. Because they're the ones who brought this to the forefront, you know. And, you know, what I find interesting is that all these companies that are against having it labeled makes no sense. It's actually counterproductive. They're actually just exposing themselves. Because, I mean, if you made this great product and you're proud of this great product that you created, wouldn't you want people to know about it? Wouldn't you want it to be uh, labeled? guess not you know they don't want their poison because they know if it is labeled everyone's gonna avoid it because they've have they've already had this whole um, there's already been studies done about it and things like this and the fact that they don't even want it labeled themselves I mean it just shows that they're hiding something you know they don't want people to know you know they want to they want to sell it to you without you knowing the effects of it you know and that's how I look at it because that's it's funny and uh, another thing that's interesting naked juice is against this naked is actually owned by PepsiCo and um, you know I buy naked from time to time or I did I haven't recently just because you know not because of this the funny thing is that we're kind of stuck with what to do. I mean, do you boycott Naked because they're, you know, opposing this? But if you read on the Naked bottles, which I did last night, my mom got one yesterday, and I was reading on the bottle because I remember telling her, you know, on the bottle it says they don't use GMOs because of a matter of principle. Do they still have that on the bottles? And I went and looked, and they do. So, for now, I think it's good to support them so that as long as they're staying true to themselves and it says that on the bottle they're not using any GMOs I mean it sounds good to me and if we don't if we boycott naked then they're gonna take naked off the shelf and we don't want that to happen so we're kinda stuck in this you know we're totally owned I mean the people that <laughs> the people that label that they don't have any GMOs on the bottle are opposing having it labeled on the bottle I, I don't understand it. I mean, it's a big uh, contradiction. Even Oddwalla, which is owned by Coca-Cola, which is supposed to be, from what I've heard, better than Naked Juice, Oddwalla, is opposing this as well. And I think that just means Coca-Cola is opposing it, and PepsiCo is opposing it, Monsanto, Monsanto is opposing it. No surprise to all this. Um, Kashi, Morningstar, Garden Burger, all those are opposing having genetically modified ingredients labeled on the ingredients list.
crazy. Even silk. I, I used to buy um, silk almond milk, and now they're opposing having genetically engineered ingredients labeled. So I find that really interesting. And uh, But there are some good companies that actually have donated in support of Proposition 37, which is awesome, which is Dr. Bronner's, which they make a lot of soap and things like that. Nature's Path Organic, Lundberg, Nutiva, I love Nutiva, um, they have good hemp seeds and hemp protein and all that stuff, really good. Organic Valley, and uh, a few other ones. Dr. Mercola donated $800,000 in support of this. Um, it'll be inter interesting to see the outcome. They've had... I just read that it was over a 10 week period they had 100 signatures on some petition or in support of Proposition 37. This is just in California. So if this thing doesn't pass, I mean, it's total corruption. I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, we should have the right to know if we're consuming Franken food or not, you know? I mean, it's kind of ridiculous. We could have, I mean, really right now, I saw a video the other day which really opened my eyes to all this is that Whole Foods actually sells genetically modified products but they don't have to tell you and they don't even know themselves it's all just mixed in with all the other organic stuff that they sell and it's kind of ridiculous so I'm hoping this passes and then I hope the rest of the nation and the rest of the states follow suit because this is just ridiculous um, I mean when we can't even control the things that we're eating I mean, it's really time to, to, we need a real change in this country, and that's what the thing is. We really need a change in this country, and um, it seems that there's a lot of people in this country that want the change, and uh, it's not going to be easy, but nobody ever said it was going to be easy. Anyway, those are my thoughts on this Proposition 37 thing. I hope it passes, but uh, don't be quick to boycott these companies like Naked. Just be aware, read the bottle, make sure that they're not supporting this GMO thing, make sure there's not in there, make sure they don't do like Whole Foods and you know the bait and switch thing with organic, they say oh all our stuff is organic and then they start throwing in GMO crap in there you know without telling people so make, if, if you're gonna buy this stuff make sure for sure that it doesn't have it Anyway, thank you for watching this video. Post your comments down below. Let me know what you think about this Proposition 37 thing. And uh, like, subscribe to these videos if you want to see more videos like this in the future. And uh, take care of yourself up there and peace be with you.